see that one, the heat coming off that immense. And you can see just how close that is to us and to the, uh, the buildings. That's pretty spectacular. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, today we are back in Gandhir again. And the reason is this week is Fias week. Although, to be honest with you, Fias is, I believe, officially yes, the full first half of March. But this is the main week when we'll show you as we go around, they put what is actually the Fias up, which is huge statues. And, well, on Sunday night, burn them. It's so, papier mache yeah. statues, aren't they? They take over a year to design and make these things and then they display them for four days and then set light set to them. On them. Fire, yeah. <clears throat> All their hard work down the drain. Yeah, totally. So we're going to take a wander into the, the, the city centre and see what we can see. Yes. This here is one of the fires. Um, like Alison said, these are made of wood and paper mache, and they're stunning. And then they will burn them to the ground on Sunday night. And some of them you'll see, some of them are huge, and they're right on top of buildings as well. Another little one over just there that I hadn't noticed. Oh, that's Sorry, tiny. Let, let's wander down and see. It might be someone selling <laughs> balloons. It might be someone selling balloons. Or it <laughs> I'm going to look like be, a right twat. If it's but you're going to look balloons. even worse when we get run over, bless us. Well, if I we thought stayed it would. that side, we'd have been alright. Oh, no, no, it, it is another small one. one. Yeah, it is I, another I, small I, one. I have redeemed myself. Oh my goodness, that one is too cute. Look at the <laughs> tiny little little. There it is. Horsey thing and the, oh yeah, this is this is better than the other one. Okay, so slight change of plan again. <laughs> we ju we just asked in a bar over here um, when the, the mask letter was and hopefully we'll you can probably hear that in the background. The mask letter is in short just very very loud fireworks um, that's at two o'clock and that's over this side where we were about to head by the train station so what we're actually going to do now is head way. up one of these side alleys here well, they've got the yeah they look like they've got the, the stalls the, on again yeah. and see what we can find down this way Now sprinting, well not sprinting, <laughs> oh, we're kind no, of just neither of us are capable of walking briskly because um, we can hear the band. One of the other things you find in most fiestas is the local bands just wander around the street playing music. Oh look, it's the procession sort of thing. <laughs> They're all in their uh, dance in their um, traditional costume.
the workmanship has gone into these I was going to call them costumes, but that, I don't think that does it justice, does it really? It they makes it sound like there's some kind of Halloween costume or something, and they're, they're far from. Because they're it's, all they're like brocade material, but then they're beaded and sequined and yeah. lace sewn over the top, and they're just... They're spectacular. Hello! Yeah, this is what you're going to have to get used throughout this video you're probably gonna hear fireworks going off Spanish love really noisy fireworks let's go through these again oh <laughs> I think what we will see throughout the course of today is these ladies and gentlemen all wandering around this city wearing, wearing that gear. I, I think even just locals do it, don't they? Just yeah. wear traditional gear. A lot of clothing, them have like just, just the, like this. It's like a farmer style tunic. Sort of like a traditional like Valentian tunic, yeah. yeah. And actually, yeah, you can see there's a couple of ladies there wearing exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. The, and a, a lot the of the ladies do their hair as well. Yeah. They, they pull them into the really tight buns, but the the princess layer things on the side yeah. are actually fake, and they pin them on. Oh, are they? Yeah, because that you can. We've been past shops in the past ah. that you can actually buy them and they pin in. And, in, pin and, on. Yeah, and the big flat pieces across the back as well. You alright? Yeah, just... You went a bit yeah. dizzy again. <laughs> just turned around a little too quickly and, and the vertigo hit. Yeah, vertigo is still there, but... Five weeks now. Five weeks. I'm trying to get it sorted, Alison's been to see the doctors this morning and fingers crossed they will come up with a solution. Fingers crossed. Anyway, fingers, fire. Fingers, toes, ears, everything crossed. <laughs> We're just saying that this is huge. This is probably not one of the biggest ones, is it? There's probably even bigger ones than this. I mean, look at the workmanship on that yeah, teapot. Yeah, yeah. The detail, the attention to detail is incredible. Just turned professional photographer. <laughs> One of the local ladies has uh, been getting her to take photos of her in front of the. Oh, she, she, apparently she would like one here as well. <laughs> Bugs attacking? No. What? Because of the blossom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So while we're down at the, this little one here, I thought it'd be quite a good idea to at least show you that when we say they set these things on fire, it's not exactly like they are, what's the word, far away from the buildings there. No, they don't, they don't have much space, do they? No. It shocked us. When we first saw this, or first we saw the fire set, it was in Delhi, wasn't it? It was a yeah. massive one, and it was right next door to a block of flats. Yeah. And I mean, you wonder how you they don't... Wanna, you wouldn't want to have your windows open or your door open on that balcony. No. When they're doing it. I mean, what Alice is talking about is obviously that gets burned there, and then you've got your apartment balcony there, and... Yeah. But they do have to make sure that the Bomberos yeah. are here, don't they? And they, they don't like them all off at the same time. No, it's one at a time. And to explain, the Bomberos are the, Sorry, the local fire brigade yeah. here. Um, 
and sorry. you just spotted oh, yeah, Border Collie. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Distracted by Border Collie. Oh, beautiful blue male. So we're back in what seems to have turned into our favourite little shop because this is where we get our quiches from. Although this time I'm going with one of these kind of sandwiches. Ham and cheese toasting. And, and this is the man that makes them for us. It is. Nada. Hasta la próxima. Sí. <laughs> Oh god, I think he recognises us from last time we bought his shop out. I just said, I think he recognises us from last time we bought all his quiches. Possibly. And he did say, until next time. Yeah. Right, we're going to find somewhere to sit and eat these. I really don't know what we're seeing here, but, or hearing. Spotted a little doggy <laughs> in his own little costume. Everyone's getting in the spirit now. Okay, so we think we've got this now, sucks, don't we? Well, there are definitely different bands and different processions from different parts of this city just doing laps. Doing their thing. Doing their thing. And looking down fine doing it. Yeah, they look spectacular, I've got to say. Do. I feel very... Splendiferous. Un Splendiferous, but I definitely feel a little underdressed today. Should have put a tie on. All of these fireworks you're hearing going off, that's not the adults doing that. What's the little kids doing that? Okay, so another lesson we've just learned. Apparently a, a, a common thing around here is you light it and then the oh, oh, blow your foot up. <laughs> oh, God's oh, God's sake. oh my word. So, I mean, what what to say on that one the the reality is that kids playing with fireworks here in spain is really quite normal for us coming from the uk originally we just thought oh my goodness yeah. they're gonna blow their hands off well, i'll be honest with you, we there was a fiesta in the the village and there was kids running up and down the streets and we literally were like who the Luminelli is allowing kids to be running up the street with fireworks. What and craziness is this? And they teach them to. After five years, we now realise it's 
It's just life. So this one's your favourite, yeah? Yeah, but I'm kind of in the way of her. Yeah. I think she's stunning. That's Alison's favourite the day. However, what we do now have to do is, apparently we've got about, you say 17 minutes? 17 minutes walk to get to where the mass clutter is. Yeah, we've got well, a 17 minute walk. We've got half an hour, so. We need to get over there. And the mass clutter, we explained a little bit earlier, is very loud, very crazy fireworks. Um, so the word of warning from us is really, please oh, get, well, Cover your ears, or at least have your TV remote in hand, ready to turn, turn things down. down a little bit. We don't know how this is going to come out. If you're stood there, right by the mask letter, it actually hurts. You can feel it thumping into your chest. Yeah. We'll we see. Have, we have also been told that we have a little fan, a puppy called Scout, who gets very, very calm and contented when watching our videos. Melanie, mute the sound because this will wake her up and she's not going to like it. So this is a prime example of what we were talking about earlier. This is going to be one of the biggest fires to date, hasn't it? Yeah. And look how close it is to the buildings. You understand, this lot is going to be going on fire on Saturday night. And it is... I, I, <laughs> I'm dread to live in one of these houses over here. Because that's so close. Actually, as we come round here, Oh my god, that really is close. That's nearly touching that shot. to everybody about obviously these things going on fire and I was shocked <laughs> yeah oh at this yeah. right so we've taken a run right round the back to quickly get back to sort of uh, main town square and it sounds like it's absolutely chaos here It's turning into madness here this afternoon. Wow, look at the crowds all of a sudden. Do you know what, they've got some good views up there, haven't they? Yeah. Can you guys see there's people up on their balconies the whole way around here. Yeah. Ready for this.
So good evening and welcome to Sunday night. Good evening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> tonight... We, we, if you can hear us already. <laughs> yeah, the, the fireworks and everything have already started here. Tonight is what they call the crema. This is where they burn all of these fires that we've shown you uh, the other day. It's half past nine. It's half past, yeah, it's half past nine at night and I'm being blunt, we don't normally stay out this late. Well, <laughs> we certainly don't go out at this time. Very and rarely go out. It is a Spanish out, thing yeah. to do that. Um, so we're going to go in. We've never done this before. We've never been to this. We've seen the fires before, but we've never seen the burning. Only the videos. So we're going to really have to make this up as we go along because <laughs> we don't know what to expect. We're, we're expecting you not to be able to hear us very much. That yeah. is for sure. Because yeah. we're nowhere near, well, we're still quite a long way away from the bridge that goes across the river Serpis and into the main square of Gandia. And it's really loud. Already. So Should many we go and, and see then? Yeah, I'm, Let's go. I'm looking forward to it. So this is our first time experiencing <laughs> this and that's the carry-on for the small ones. Yes. So we wonder what to expect when they set off the really big ones. The fire people are hosing down the orange tree beside and the house this side. But they must have fireworks built into the fire yeah. that are going off at various points. It's incredible. The, I mean, when through. I knew these were going to go up in smoke, it literally is. I'll show it's you now. Going up in smoke. Oh. No, I'm not walking to a churro store. <laughs> yeah. When it, uh, a fiesta, oh, time for churros. Churro. Time for churros. It would be rude not to churro. Okay. The question is, plain or chocolate? Can't complain, can you, darling? <laughs> this is so far, we're failing. Well, we haven't failed because we saw one. <laughs> we saw one. That's a hundred percent success rate. Right? <laughs> well, yeah, but every other one we turned up to is already burnt to a crisp. However, this big one, it does look like they're getting ready to set that one on fire. So it's definitely picking up here now. We've got fire brigade, lots of fireworks going down, and we've got some of the, the ladies, Finely dressed ladies in their traditional costumes. And, and you've got a new friend, haven't you? I have a new friend. Alison's found a new doggy friend. A 16 month old puppy that likes washing my hands and me holding her paws. So, yeah, hopefully this will be getting underway shortly. Looks like it. Right. Night it looks like we're off.
wondered why everybody was putting their hoods up. <laughs> we're, we're caked in bits of firework. know the words of that thing. Well, you didn't have to know the words for the whoa, 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 whoa. So we've made our way to a fire ass that's themed over here as Alice in Wonderland. Yes. And it's the one you really wanted to see go up and smoke, isn't it? <laughs> Although I, it will be really sad because the Cheshire Cat is particularly evil. Yeah, yeah. And Alice looks really cute, and actually the, the Queen of Hearts is really pretty. I've got to be honest with you, I don't know whether we actually have already shown any footage of this. I think we have. I did put yeah. two pictures up, I think, of this one, or maybe one. I know I definitely put one up. What, on social? On um, Instagram, especially, with... Um, sorry, someone just landed on my head. Oh, there's still ash um, falling from everywhere. See, yeah. what, I don't know if this is going to come out on camera, what Alice is talking about. Can you see all of this ash? It looks like it's snowing. Dropping out the sky from the various bonfires that are currently happening all around the city. <laughs> so we think the locals are getting a little bit impatient. <laughs> and, and we seem to have got a new friend, by the way. Say hello, new friend. Hello! <laughs> Hello, you get friends. <laughs> this is Iran. Yeah, he, spelled he's E I R A I A N. He's been teaching us all about the fires and and the stuff. The, the, the stuff. And the yeah. stuff. <laughs> yeah, that. But we're hoping everyone's now whistling that any second now we're gonna see another one of these things burn. <laughs> fingers crossed. Hey, fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> was a traditional Valencia fires, the burning. To, to explain what's going on with these firemen over here, they're not trying to put the fire out, all they are doing is dousing down this lamp here, and also these buildings here, and that's purely to stop them, well, to stop it burning down the homes. So I think Alison's gonna be a nervous wreck before this night's out. <laughs> There's some of we them are so there. red, you're jumping out your skin. I know. My heart's going, I've got to be honest with you. Right, we're going to try and see the winner 
of this entire thing. However, as you will see when I turn the camera around, there's a lot of people walking. Everybody's that way. heading down there now. <laughs> down in the distance. That apparently is the winner. And that's what we're going to try and see now. Whether or not we'll get close enough, we'll find out. But our little tour guide, there he is. Hopefully, he can get us a bit closer. So there's something going on up there, but I don't know what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift you guys up to see if you can see what's going on. I mean, we've only been here 10 minutes and already... <laughs> it goes all the way down to the bottom of the road there. And we are, what are we, about... A fair distance. 100 odd metres away from the actual fire, so... I think the whole of Spain... Fun. It was fun. Um, late night though. Very late night and very past our bedtime. I am shattered. Yes. But there we go, we're back home. So, once again, thank you so much for watching and... We hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was great. Total experience for us. Yes. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Take care and uh, bye for now. <laughs>